Hey, this is Adam Torres, and I'm here to tell you that it has never been easier to start your very own podcast. At Mission Matters, our goal is to amplify stories that matter. That means we want to help you start your podcast because your story matters. We can do this in three different ways. One, join our podcast school and take a free or paid course. Two, visit our resources page where we've already figured out what you need, such as where to host your podcast. Or three, heck, we can even do everything for you through our podcast agency, including editing for cheaper than you can do in-house. Oh, and no contracts, services month to month. Get started by heading over to missionmatters.com and click on Start a Podcast. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Marketing Podcast, your source for all things marketing. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Zachariah Moreno on the line, and he's CEO and CTO over at Squadcast. Zach, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me today, Adam. All right, Zach, so uh, I'm excited to get into today's topic. So adding a podcast to your marketing strategy and why that can be one of the best things a businesses could do or, or a business can do or somebody that just has a message that they want to get it out there. Um, but before we go into that topic, um, I'd like to go a little bit further into what you're doing over at Squadcast. So tell us a little bit more about your company, please. Yeah, so we've been at it about four years, and we are very much in service of the podcast community by helping professional podcasters and their guests record studio quality interviews remotely from anywhere in the world. So it's really that uh, that remotely piece that is the challenge to capture high quality audio, and we make that super easy for both you and your guests in over 120 countries. Man, that's awesome. And we're going to go, we're going to get further into Squadcast, but just to, I guess, frame this, um, to frame the conversation. So let's just go right into the topic. So adding a podcast to your marketing strategy, you have a very unique vantage point, especially with what you're doing over at Squadcast, because you get to see a lot of people in their podcasts and also, you know, what it's either done for their business or how they have, uh, how they've kind of incorporated it into whatever message they were looking to get it out, whether it was personal brand, whether it's business, whether it was all these other things that they could, other reasons for starting a podcast. I mean, where do you want to start this topic? This is a big one. Like, what have you seen in this podcast community? Well, you're absolutely right, Adam. And we uh, we were looking for uh, answers to the questions that you just shared when we first started. And I'm happy to say that we we have a, a, a podcast, a remote podcast stats report that has a bunch of the data that is interesting when it comes to when people are recording, what equipment they're using. Uh, there's a lot of that information or misinformation potentially out there on the web, and we uh, wanted to take a step away from that kind of being anecdotal answers and really root that in the data that we saw across all of 2019 and the beginning of 2020. So uh, we have that available uh, if you want to check out kind of a deeper dive. But to answer your question more specifically, we um, we see a, a lot of opportunities for businesses in particular uh, around uh, owning a marketing channel and not being kind of subject to being deplatformed or something like that when it comes to the terms of service across other uh, publishing platforms. With a podcast, you have ownership of your content and have full control of it, therefore. So that gives you a lot of creative freedom to really customize your message for different audiences across different verticals. And you can talk uh, at length in detail, not you know, 120 characters or whatever a tweet is these days, you can go really, really deep on a specific topic with somebody in your industry. And, uh, and that is essentially a top of the funnel uh, marketing content that, uh, that can draw people into the, the service that your business provides. Um, there's other benefits that come from it as well, especially for entrepreneurs and, and business owners when it comes to the social equity that is built up across the conversations that you're having with people who are leading in your industry or a field of study. And uh, that's like, that's less discussed. So that's why I wanted to bring it up mm. today. Uh, one of the interesting pieces we see on Squadcast is uh, people, of course, connect and set up their interview and record that. Um, and that's kind of what I'll call on the record. 
But then there's kind of a, a bookend conversation that happens before and after that is not being recorded. You have this time scheduled with this uh, person who's of interest to your audience, so they're probably somebody of influence, and you get to talk with them. So use that time to deepen that relationship, and that can have really big impacts on your business when it comes to making connections within your industry. Um, so you're adding value to your audience, you're adding value to that person as a guest, but you're also adding value to your network by, uh, by making this deep connection with your guest over and over and over again uh, with the episodic nature of a podcast. So uh, all kinds of benefits to having a podcast, especially for, for marketers and business owners. Yeah, that's uh I mean those are some really good points. So I want to I want to kind of um bring a couple of those up that I that are always on my mind. I tell people this all the time. So I'm like the difference with the, between a podcast and some of these other things and you said it very eloquently where you said terms of service and you were very professional. But what I'll say is look what Facebook does. Facebook, they you you build these groups, you do all this other stuff and then what happens now you have to pay to reach your own audience that you already built. Like they're not going to show anything for free. You're maybe in these are, these are stats I've heard, but I don't have them verified. So if somebody wants to fact check me out there, you're more than welcome to. But the, I, you know, you build a huge Facebook group. You got a thousand people. You got ten thousand. You got a hundred thousand people in it. Um, if you put out a content on your own group that people subscribe to or that they liked or something else, guess what? You're, you're not going to reach that many people. You'll be lucky to hit ten percent, fifteen percent, twenty percent if it's a really active group. But you're not going to get like why? Because you have to pay to reach your own audience with Facebook. With the podcast, that's one of things that I liked about it and what drew me to it in the beginning is I'm like, all right, same thing with YouTube. So YouTube's the exact same way. Like if, if somebody doesn't go, if they subscribe to your channel and if they don't hit the bell and if they don't, number one, hit the bell to get notifications, but if they do hit the bell or if they hit whatever and then they don't watch a couple of your videos, well, YouTube now downgrades your content and says that that person maybe doesn't want to see your content as well. And there's all these technical, technical metrics that go into it that are above my understanding and the people out there again fact check me do what you have to do but with the podcast is different you release a letter you put that on your newsletter you send it out to people they may not listen to all of them but you own your content you now own a media platform and that's real different than just using somebody else's platform like that's something that you can build a business on that i've that i've personally done by the way for all the people listening there so i'm not just saying this like this is one of the reasons that drew us to the platform um so zach i want to spend right. so so I like I'm on the I'm on the board with you, and I'm glad you said it. And that's because I preach this stuff all the time. And people, again, I may be biased, whatever I am, it's all good. But um, but I'm glad that you have the data behind it. For me, these are just my opinions of what I've witnessed being a media guy for all these years. Um, now I want to I want to switch it up a little bit, Zach. So I want to get into um some of what you're doing at, at Squadcast to help people because your your component in the podcasting game is really important. And what you've done and what your team has done is made it really easy for studio level quality. So I, I guess I'll, I'll pose it to you this way, Zach. Um, talk to us a little bit more about how quality can help a show overall. Yeah, it's it's not obvious on the surface. Like people tend to think about, oh, I I can't meet this person. I can't travel to this person. We can't get together in a studio and therefore I want to record it remotely. Um, but that adds all sorts of constraints to the quality of the audio that you're capturing. And that matters to your audience because if they're going to listen to you talk for anything more than a few minutes, uh, the quality of the audio can be very fatiguing. So it really goes towards uh, audience relationship, audience experience, making sure people can actually get through the content that you're working hard to, to capture for them. The other piece is, uh, I'll bring this back to, again, some data that was released, I think, by the University of, um, I believe, USC re released a study that um, that showed a direct correlation between the audience, from the audience perspective, they perceive guests and hosts, people on podcasts, they perceive them to be more credible, the higher the quality of the audio. So you're working to build up all this influence, you're building up this social equity for your brand and for your business. And especially for business owners, uh, quality becomes a brand asset, essentially, where you're preserving people's credibility, your credibility um, in those interviews that you're working, you know, week over week or monthly to to put out. So quality really is a is a brand asset for businesses when it comes to a podcast and it it really works to preserve the credibility and your audience experience when uh when the the product of your hard work is audio 
the quality is really the uh, the way that you can improve that for your audience. We make that super easy on Squadcast. Like you connect just like you would with uh, many other uh, like video conferencing applications, except that you are recording studio quality audio for everybody in the conversation. We make that really fast and easy to do for your guest, which oftentimes they're not professional podcasters. So with Squadcast, they just show up and they're hands off. So, Zach, you're also the CTO there. And, um, you know, I, I want to talk about, like, how easy this is to use because I do know it's easy and I know you created it for, like, you know, functionality. Um, so maybe just, you know, I'm a brand new podcaster. I've never done it and I'm thinking about it and I just signed up for your service and now it's time to get going. Like, walk me through just, you know, the basics of how easy it is to actually record. Yeah, I'm happy to. So uh, there's a lot of, the power of Squadcast is below the surface. So all of these, uh, you know, quality is basically by default. You don't have to change any settings or do anything uh, with with those to capture really high quality audio. All you really need to do is connect to your guest in what we call a recording session, which gives you kind of a real time conversation with audio and video, and uh, and then you have a big giant record button that you can press as the host. Um, and your guest doesn't have to do anything. They Once they're connected to the conversation, uh, they get to enjoy that and engage in a flowing dialogue between uh, everybody that's connected, but they don't have to do anything technical. They don't have to click and record. They don't have to worry about their files or any of that stuff. Uh, it happens below the surface for them. And on the host end, they're just clicking record and clicking stop whenever you're wrapped up. And uh, you can do that as many times as you like. And each time you do that, you get a new set of files for everybody who is connected to the conversation, which gives you really fast, uh, really fast workflow when it comes to actually publishing that episode. You don't have to wait around for those uploads. They're available right away in high quality, studio quality. And uh, and then your guest, they they can leave at any time. They don't have to wait around for an upload. They don't have to do anything to get high quality audio. Um, they can actually leave whenever they like. And uh, that's part of the magic of Squadcast is really how it how it empowers, yes, studio quality recording, but how it acts when how it uh, responds in uh, in situations like uh, like somebody's Internet disconnected or their power got unplugged or a microphone got unplugged. These are real world situations when it comes to recording audio. And we embrace that reality and we engineer for reliability and resilience in all of those scenarios you would have your audio already recorded and already uploaded to the cloud in addition to a backup of the entire conversation so not only is it very high quality audio you also have this uh zero anxiety recording when it comes to uh how we upload and how we capture that audio and um, and we do that for primaries and backups so uh you're never going to be in a situation where you worked hard to get a um an interview schedule with your guests, you focused on quality, you had a great conversation, and oh no, you uh, you don't have your audio uh, because something didn't go right um, while you were recording. That's not a situation you're going to run into on Squadcast. You always walk away with your audio. Man, that's awesome. So Zach, uh, if somebody is listening to this right now and, they're, and they want to learn more about Squadcast or how to work with you and your team, I mean, what's the best way for them to connect about, with the company and learn more about the brand? Yeah, I think the, the proof's in the pudding. So on our website, squadcast.fm, you can listen to uh, audio samples that are comparisons between Squadcast and like Skype or Zoom, the, uh, the other ways people tend to record. You can hear that uh, when it comes to the quality. And like I said, that's directly tied to your credibility um, as a business. That's super important. And, uh, and then there's also a, a demo page there in the navigation that you can see two minutes how this actually works um, and how easy it is for you to connect with your guest and record. Nobody needs to install anything. It's all web-based and your guest just clicks a link to connect. So you can see that, see that experience firsthand and uh, we'd be happy to help you get started with your podcast, uh, whether you're, you're just getting started or you're a professional like you, Adam, um, we're, we're happy to help improve the quality for, uh, for everybody recording podcasts. 
Man, that's awesome. Well, Zach, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about all the great things that you're doing over at Squadcast. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Marketing, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the video. Love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Zach, thanks again for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Enjoy your day.